What's going on guys? T-Mart here and the first day of the race is done. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. I am about to pass out. But I came back to the house and I found this here. So I wanted to do a, a quick unboxing for you guys. As you guys know, uh, the video just before this one was unboxing the new PlayStation 4. So I figured why not check out the Juggernog edition as well. This is obviously very, very, very limited edition. Not too many people got this. They sold out almost immediately as soon as they went up for sale. And I'm actually really pumped about this. Like, I think this is an awesome collector's item. And I actually, I may end up being able to get another one to give away to you guys. I don't have full details on that yet, so I'm gonna wait to, to officially announce that. But I'm working on it, because I'd love to be able to give one back to you guys. But yeah. So you guys can see, this is the PlayStation 4 Juggernaut edition of Black Ops 3. We are going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open, and uh, I can't wait, man. This is going to be so cool. So I'm going to set you guys down right here. Boom, you guys are looking good. And we are going to try to see if we can find a knife real quick. Actually, just used a knife to... Oh, by the way, so you guys know, I told you guys about how my PC was... It, it stayed in Orlando. It didn't make it into the, the, you know, kind of like checked baggage and stuff. Look at this works like a charm oh my goodness it's it doesn't even have like all the things that go in the front and the top and stuff like that but it works and that's all i need so i can make you guys some videos we can play some uh some of that and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun so i'm looking forward to that but yeah i was using this to to like screw screws because i don't know where the screwdrivers are here and stuff like that and everybody's back at track right now during the race i came back to make some videos and go to bed and uh, grind it out for you guys so i'm gonna set you guys up we're gonna get this thing open real quick one, two, three, four. All right, boom. So we have all four of those off. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't. Oh, I should probably leave you guys down there. We're going to go ahead and slide this off. Oh, man, this thing is beautiful, dude. All right, so this, as you can see, is the box that it comes in. And it's got all kinds of crazy zombies images and artwork all over it there's a big scary face right there looks like over on this side we have uh you know a couple of more zombies we have morgue city in the background man this is just this is sweet dude this is absolutely amazing all right cool so we're gonna open this thing up looks like we just kind of like pull that out this pops open Ooh, look at look at those flapping up we're gonna bring this out Holy cow, all right, so we're gonna start off here. This is the hardened case. So this is the same case you get with the hardened edition of the game. Uh, if you open this bad boy up, it's just gonna have the game disc in there, uh, as well as, I thought Nuketown came with this, but I'm not sure, maybe it doesn't. I already have Nuketown, so that's all right. But yeah, that's, oh, oh wait, here, here it is. Oh, it comes with the season pass, that's right. So it comes with the free season pass, and then we also have the giant zombies with the cyborg and uh, weaponized 115 and then nuketown and then what's the oh yeah those are the trading cards dudes i forgot everything this came with all right cool so we're gonna open this down next to my contacts and uh we're gonna open up the trading cards so these are essentially trading cards and kind of like bio cards for the specialists in the game so you guys can see here this is firebreak and then on the back side, it's going to have information about him. Call sign Firebreak. Progborn Christoph uh, Hezek is a battlefield problem solver armed with a powerful arsenal of weaponry. He effectively resolves numerous issues over and over again using his favorite tool, fire. So uh, that's pretty cool. So you have Firebreak. You have uh, Ro or Nomad here. I was going to call him Ronan. I don't know why I always want to call him Ronan. Uh, you have Battery. You have, uh, what's this, Outrider. The Reaper. Yeah, so you guys can see, you've got all the different, all nine specialists in the game in kind of like trading card form, and they've got like all their abilities and descriptions and stuff on the back. So uh, that's pretty cool. You know, I think that's super, super awesome, and that's definitely a collector's thing. Now we also have these I'll actually get a lot of use of. I feel like the cards will probably just end up in my you know closet somewhere, but these I'm actually going to use. So these right here, if we can get them open, it's kind of like super stuck on there oh my gosh i'm really struggling oh there it is all right so these are coasters of the uh the four kind of like main perks i guess you could call them in zombies so you have revive soda speed cola double tap root beer and then of course everybody's favorite juggernog and uh, all of these are kind of like 
They're like a, a rubbery coaster, so you guys can see here. I'll get all four of them for you guys. That, my friends, is really cool, and that's any Zombies fan's dream. So uh, those are, are definitely going to be put out in the house. Chelsea, I'm sorry. I know you probably won't like those. I know that probably won't match the beach theme that you have going on with the house, but uh, hey, I get my say in some things too, right? All right, cool. So that's just kind of like the, um, the extras that you get. You know, obviously, there's one big main thing we're all looking forward to seeing. That's kind of the extras you get there. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes. So we're gonna, oh man, that wasn't a very good sound. Looks like we have instruction booklets and uh, kind of like setup guides and stuff. We don't need that though, I think we can handle this. So we're gonna open this thing up. And ooh la la, all right, so it's wrapped in plastic. We're gonna have to get this, get this plastic off, hold on. Sorry about this guys. Gonna rip this plastic off maybe, maybe not. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna take the whole thing out. And boom, would you take a look at that. This thing is so sick, dude. So the only problem is it is a little bit small. I think, what does that hold, six uh, regular 12 ounce cans? Or, you know, I mean, you guys can see it for yourself. It's very small. There's, there's not much that can go in there. What is this thing right here? Oh, that's the, the, the thing that you put on top and it lights up and makes sounds and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's... It's not very big. You aren't gonna be able to put much in this. You know, I, I was, you know, if it was like a, a full-sized mini fridge, you could actually put like a, a 12 pack or something in, that'd be really cool. Uh, but I don't feel like the main purpose of this is to cool your drinks. Like this is just a really cool collector's edition item. You guys can see uh, Juggernog on the front. Then you have ice cold with a zombie handprint on the side, on the back, freestanding installation only, off and cool, and on the other side, Take a tug on that sweet, sweet jug. So yeah, there you guys have it. I would this set this up, but uh, it looks like it's you know you have to screw the thing on and you know plug it in. I guess, eh, whatever, let's do it. I was gonna say it seems complicated, but that's really not that complicated. So we're gonna take this thing out right here, and I'll show you guys the sounds that it can make. So here we go. We're gonna open this up. Oh, it actually just plugs in. It's almost like an, an audio jack. So you just do that. We open this up, and we should find the power cord. Boom. Just gonna take all these off. That looks good to me. Got that. I hate these stupid tie things. They take. I can never like figure out which way to do them first. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I think they're going left and then you gotta go right and stuff like that. Alright, cool. So uh, I'm assuming this is how you do this. Looks like uh, LED, LED and sound and off. We're gonna put it to LED and sound. We're gonna plug it in up here. Plug it in, plug it in. Looks like you plug it in and then twist it into place. And then I'm assuming in the back is gonna be the slot for the fridge. Plug in, boom. And I think we are in business, boys. We just have to find an outlet. Man, this room is so messy. Oh man, we're gonna go out here. We're gonna look for an outlet. There's gotta be an outlet along the wall, right? Mm, yeah, looks like right here. Right by the front door, almost just dropped this thing. This is kind of an impromptu video. Not really at home, don't really know what's going on with everything, so let's see if this works. Fail. Actually, I think, boom, there it is. There's an on button on the back of the fridge you have to turn on too, so there you guys have it. We have the Juggernog fridge. The Juggernog sign lights up up top. That is pretty cool, my friends. That's gonna look so good in my office. I think you can kind of hear it. It's not very loud though. And then now I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys listen to these sounds. That's awesome. All right, that was number one. There's number two. And I think that's the last one. I think there's only three. Yeah. All right, so there you guys have it. That, my friends, is the limited edition Juggernog version of Black Ops 3. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you guys got this thing at the midnight release last night. Did you guys get it? Did you get the hardened edition? What version did you get? Are you happy with it? Do you wish you would've got something else? Leave comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bunch of awesome Black Ops 3 videos coming later today. I uploaded a ton yesterday, so make sure you guys check, that, check out those, excuse me, if you guys missed them. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.